Hi, my name is Professor Dr. Devaruti Haldar and in this session, I am going to discuss about the influence of United Nations Commission on International Trade Law on Information Technology Act. We need to understand about the history of IT Act India to understand the influence of unicetral model law on the IT Act. India is one of the first countries to create a legislation for facilitating e-commerce, e-governance and recognizing certain types of offenses committed online or with the help of cyberspace. This legislation is known as IT Act or Information Technology Act. The present version of this statute is known as Information Technology Act 2000, amended in 2008. Let us now discuss about the three essential objectives of the IT Act. The first is the legal recognition of electronic data interchange, which is also covered under e-commerce. The second is facilitating electronic governance, which includes filing, issuing applications or documents, retention of data, recognition of patterns of online crimes. And the third is amendment to certain existing laws, which includes Amendment to Indian Penal Code, Indian Evidence Act, Bankers Books Evidence Act 1891, Reserve Bank of India Act 1934, etc. Now, let us understand about the need to have an international model law as guide to frame Domestic Information Technology Act. <clears throat> The first need was the reason of involvement of multiple jurisdictional issues on cyberspace. The second was international nature of e-commerce. The third was uniform format for electronic governance. And the fourth was accessibility and retention of electronic data. Now, let us understand the brief objectives of Unicetral Model Law on e-commerce. First was progressive harmonization and unification of the law of international trade. Second was providing framework for regulating electronic data interchange. Third was facilitating e-commerce. And the fourth was developing harmonious international economic relations. How did unicetral model law on e-commerce influence the Information Technology Act? We need to understand from the perspective of redefining the scope of the statute by the unicetral model law. First, regulate e-commerce related issues. Second, promoting use of alternatives to paper-based methods of communication and storage information. Third, nature of agreements between the stakeholders. Secondly, unicetral model law also introduced certain essential definitions which were taken up by the IT Act. For example, electronic data interchange, which was defined by the Unicetral Model Law as the electronic transfer 
from computer to computer of information using an agreed standard to structure the information. Unicentral model law defined the term data message. Information generated, received or stored by electronic optical or similar means including but not limited to electronic data interchange, electronic mail, telegram, telex or telecopy. This has been addressed by the IT Act through the definitions of data, information, electronic record, etc. The unicentral model law defined originator as originator of a data message means a person by whom or on whose behalf the data message purports to have been sent or generated prior to storage if any but it does not include a person acting as an intermediary with respect to that data message. Now let us see section 2ZA of the IT Act, which also defines the term originator depending on the definition given by unicentral model law. According to this section, originator means a person who sends, generates, stores or transmits any electronic message or causes any electronic message to be sent, generated, stored or transmitted to any other person but does not include intermediary. Let us see the address, the definition of addressee as per the IT Act. Addressee means a person who is intended by the originator to receive the electronic record but does not include any intermediary. This definition has also been taken from the unicentral model law which defines the term addressee as addressee of a data message means a person who is intended by the originator to receive the data message but does not include a person acting as an intermediary with respect to that data message. Further, as per the unicentral model law, intermediary means Intermediary with respect to a particular data message means a person who, on behalf of another person, sends, receives or stores that data message or provides other services with respect to that data message. IT Act 2000, amended in 2008, defines intermediary as below. Intermediary with respect to any particular electronic records means any person who, on behalf of another person, receives, stores or transmits that record or provides any service with respect to that record and includes telecom service providers, network service providers, internet service providers, web hosting service providers, search engines, online payment sites, online auction sites, online marketplaces, and cyber cafes. According to the unicentral model law, information system means a system for generating, sending, receiving, storing, or otherwise processing data messages. As for the IT Act, this particular definition has been understood through the definitions of computer, computer system, computer network, communication device. Introducing basic features of e-governance. Let us see what unicentral model law speaks on this very issue. Unicentral model law discusses this through legal recognition of electronic record. You can see that IT Act through chapters 3 and 4 of the IT Act 
discusses on this very issue that is e-governance. However, IT Act discusses this through chapters 3 and 4 which is inclusive of electronic record, e-governance and to a certain extent also covers e-commerce. Unicentral model law lays down guidelines for authentication of electronic records. It also discusses about digitalizing the data. Laying down the nuances of e-commerce by the unicentral model law and how it was adopted by IT Act 2000 amended in 2008. Unicentral model law emphasized on agreement, attribution, acknowledgement, receipt, addressee and send sender, time and place of dispatch and receipt. These things are also covered by the IT Act 2000 amended in 2008. Now, let us see how the unicentral model law has further discussed on emphasizing on international standard of operational system. It also discussed on uniform method of authentication of data which are inclusive of the discussions on electronic governance and also electronic commerce. Unicentral model law also highlighted the importance of cooperation of nation states to resolve the international trade related issues. Thank you.